Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another 12 Days of Vlogmas videos. We This is, I think, the second to last one, which is crazy to think about. I'm still going back and forth what video will be my last 12 days if I want it to be our Christmas day. I think that's what I'm going to do. So you probably won't see another video from me until just after Christmas, maybe on the... 27th or 28th is probably when that next video will come live just with our travels and spending time with family I just want to put my computer down and focus on family. So the last video will be coming up next week sometime. So If I don't talk to you before then Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy your holiday with your friends or family and Stay warm. Oh my gosh stay warm for sure. So this morning, it's Tuesday by the way, I originally planned to do a wrap and chat with you. However, plans have changed just a little bit. The kids got home from school and they kind of freaked me out a little bit. So their teachers are all telling them they're going to move their Christmas parties to Wednesday instead of Thursday because of the weather coming in. So tomorrow it's supposed to snow, like a nice light and fluffy, but at three to five inches of snow. And then Thursday on through, I think Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to blow terribly cold, like wind chill, what did I say? Like 55 below, it's crazy. And between the blowing snow and the, just the frigid temperatures, it's dangerous outside. They might not have school on Thursday, which it seems like they haven't had school forever. So anyways, instead of staying home and wrapping, I need to get out and finish things. I need to get groceries. I wanted to go to Aldi. I think I'm going to go there today. I was going to go yesterday, but I did not have my reusable bags to fill up. So I'm like, you know what? We'll have to do that tomorrow. Charlie, where's Charlie? He has a groomer's appointment. So I'm trying to get to a few local stores um, downtown today too. I'm not quite sure the timing on that because I also I also am going to my husband's work for lunch today I am a judge for their chili cook-off which I've never done but to get to taste test I think it's at least 10 different chilies and they'll crown their winner today so that will be fun but I just have to plan my day around that so I just need groceries for sure I need a last few final gift items and then I'll feel better if the kids don't have school or someone gets sick and I need to be at home I'll at least know I have that piece done for our Christmas Charlie's grooming appointment got moved to 11 o'clock today so that gives me about an hour here before we're going to head out and start running around town to count gifts isn't that funny? So I have started wrapping. I just need to take a tally as to how many each of the kiddos have. I don't think it's going to be 100% equal this year just based on the price of different things for the older kids. But I want to have them somewhat equal so it doesn't look completely unfair to everybody. I'm just a little bit worried I still need a gift or two for the twins. I just love the plaid print though this year. I don't know, maybe it's because it's the whole cabin theme. I have no idea, but I'm stocked up. I think I have like three or four more rolls to finish out my wrapping and Charlie's wondering what I am doing. So usually I'll have the kids pull it all out and count them because they have, but since they're at school, I need to do it so I can finish up my shopping today. Today, Charlie, are you ready for Christmas? I am not, I cannot believe it's almost here. In years past, I would buy what I feel like is way too many gifts for each of the kids. I try to make it all equal, and you know, one person had like, let's say eight or 10 gifts, and then I need to go out and buy eight or 10 gifts for each of the other kids. Well, it, that adds up really quickly. So this year, um, we cut back for a few reasons. One, building a house is very expensive, and once we move in in a few months, there's going to be things that all of us will need for our new rooms or um, you know what I mean. So that is one of the reasons. Number two, there's just not a lot of storage here to bring in a lot of things. And then three, in years past, I would just go crazy buying so many gifts and they just can't really enjoy them all. They just have too many because not only do they have Christmas with us, but they also have it with both sides of our family, with grandparents and 
it just gets to be too much and we just want to really enjoy what they are getting so yeah we're cutting back this year um, the kids understand that I think I mean we keep telling them that it's going to be a little bit later Christmas uh, so I'm trying to put more thought into each gift quality not quantity so usually I'll do books usually I'll do an outfit and then just a couple of things that maybe they asked for as well that get them really excited maybe like a toy item or something like that so yeah so I counted up out here I need to I still have a bunch that I need to wrap as well as some that are haven't even arrived yet that I need to also check on and add to my list here. Whew, I'm out of breath. I just stopped at the storage unit to drop off like four or five large boxes. Charlie, you okay, buddy? He's cleaning up after the kids. But anyways, I had like four large boxes sitting in our garage and we could barely open our, my like passenger side door for, the, for us to get into the vehicle. So, good to have those in storage. Oh my gosh, it's cold out. The thermostat says it's negative seven outside. Of course, that's without wind chill, and that's actually warming up. It was when I was driving the kids to school, negative nine, so. Oh my goodness, so we're here. I dropped it off. I'm going to swing by the new house quick. They should be starting. I think they're wrapping up insulation, which is like perfect timing for them and us. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine being delayed for all the cold weather too. Um, and then they're going to be starting drywall. So they're hoping to sheetrock and then right after the holidays, taping and texturing, we have the whole schedule kind of laid out. So I thought I would just swing by. I haven't been inside in over a week to see. I'm not sure if I'll go in or not. I have to see who's all there. That usually um, determines if I go in or not. So I'm just going to swing by there. I have Charlie because we are going to be dropping him off with the groomer. And I have my list. I am not coming home until I have all of my Christmas shopping done because I do not want to do this again tomorrow. Like I just want to get it done. Usually I'm not like this. I'm not a last minute Christmas shopper and now I know why. Deja vu, my friends. You might be wondering, weren't you just there yesterday? Yes, I was. It is much later in the day now. I'm so sorry, but as I was out trying to figure out and get it together, I just needed to put the camera down and focus on what I was shopping for. I needed groceries. So we went to Aldi. I got that done. I also had to go to Walmart because Aldi didn't have a few items. So then I zipped through looking for last minute gift ideas. The kids have things going on at school where they can bring like a special drink. So I was looking for like fun, exciting drinks for them and just random things that they need to bring to school for parties. And I also did the chili cook-off judging this afternoon. It was really fun, by the way. So many different ways you can cook chili. Charlie's drinking, by the way. Picked up Charlie from the groomer. He looks super cute. And then I just came home and started wrapping. I had big plans to do a wrap and chat with you, but I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I really am. I think it's partially mentally exhausting. Christmas is, really it is. And then I also feel like I'm getting the twins as cold. Ethan started with it last week on our first snow day. He's, he came down with it, then I went to Andrew, and now it is my turn, so um i'll be okay i'll make it just fine um but yeah i'm just like wiped out for the day i actually need to leave here very soon to go bring the twins to basketball for the night and then we'll be home so made a good dent on my wrapping and so i'll have the kids just double check everything make sure we're good to go and what else is going on i think what i'm going to do since i'm just tired today i think tomorrow i will start up and just um, we'll just continue on this vlog. I actually want to have a stay at home day. It's the last day really before the kids will be here for Christmas break. And I just want to, I don't know, maybe watch a Hallmark movie, bake, wrap some gifts, just have a nice low key Christmas day at home before the mass chaos begins. <laughs> My husband, he also has the entire last week of December off from work. So not only will the kids be home, but my husband will be too, which will be really nice. Um, but so yeah, I'm not sure what we'll all get into that week. So one last day of peace and quiet before everything breaks loose around here. Look, look at that good boy. Are you so handsome? Are you ready for Christmas? 
Have you been a good boy? Have you been a good boy? <laughs> yes? We don't like the cold, do we? It's too cold to play outside. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I also gave up a little bit on my Christmas shopping and went to Amazon. I'm like, you know, Amazon gift cards, I don't mind them. And I don't think they will either. Um, I just, I try not to give gift cards if I can help it. But at the end of the day, they are really nice to get. So they'll get a gift, but then also as like a side gift, I call that, they'll get a little gift card too. Every Christmas, baby Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Every Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. Good morning, friends. It is now Wednesday, and I started off by switching the sheets on our bedding with the 50 below windshield that they're talking about and the super thin window. I'm like, you know what? We need our flannel sheets back on at least for this week, and we'll see how it goes after that. Um, I actually prefer my other ones because I like the color and how they feel, but flannel it is this week. We went back to all the warm things. But today, I am hoping to have a comfy, cozy, you got my lounge outfit on, comfy, cozy day at home. I just really need to get caught up on a bunch of things before the kids are home for break. I was thinking about baking today, but I don't know if I will have time, but I'll try to leave the, whenever I get to it, I'll add that to the end of this video. But um yeah i just have a bunch of wrapping i'd like to get all taken care of i still have a bunch of not a bunch but i would say at least a handful of gifts that are still on their way to me so i'll still have those to wrap but if i can at least get caught up on what i have here that would be amazing and then i have probably five or six loads of laundry that need to be folded it's clean but it needs to be folded so i've just been stockpiling it now at this point because i'm like you know what let's just sit on the couch watch a hallmark movie and fold and it'll be a little bit more enjoyable that way so that is my plan um to do this morning i don't think i'm going to get out and about today although i do we're out of hand soap in the bathroom there's like probably it's almost gone um i'm thinking about going to bath and body works i really don't want to i really don't want to <laughs> but i just love their foaming hand soap and that is something we need especially this time of year when it seems like everybody is sick so i may grab or go there if i can get all of this stuff done when i go to pick up the kids from school we'll see but i'm kind of out of it today if you can't tell gosh making the bed was a little bit of a challenge for me i had the comforter the wrong way so i flipped that around i struggled getting the duvet back on the bed and ugh, i don't know i think it's probably the nyquil i took last night it just hasn't wore off yet the mood is set i have my candles all turned on and lit my giant pile of laundry that's only one basket do not be fooled there's lots more 
and I have the Christmas getaway on. I recorded this like a week ago off of the Hallmark Channel, so I didn't really look too hard. This one looked pretty good, so I'm gonna get started on that. Oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it. I made a good dent in my Christmas wrap. I would have gotten more done. However, I decided to prioritize a little bit. I had a stack of Christmas cards that I wanted to reply to and get those in the mail today. That way, hopefully, they will get to you before Christmas. So if you sent me a Christmas card, there's one on its way to you if you haven't already received it. So let me know if you saw your Christmas card in the mix there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is head out. It's about a little after two. I have plenty of time to run over to Bath and Body Works really quick, grab some soaps. I think it's five for 25. I looked on the website to make sure they were on sale. So I'll probably do that, pick up the kids, and then we start running all the different directions. But the recipe I wanted to make with you, I'll probably have to do tomorrow morning. So this vlog, will just, it's gonna be just one long three-day video but it's like a toffee recipe i've never made it before i'm i don't even know if it'll turn out it seems like i always have one flop a year so this might be it but i do want to make it with you as promised here is a little mini bath and body works haul so i did go in for hand soap they were five for 25 and then i had a 10 off 30 coupon of course so had to grab one more thing which i go through this like crazy this is the hand sanitizer i keep in my car of course in my favorite scent and then I tried to get all seasonal neutral type soaps and not go with Christmassy ones since we're so close to the holidays being over. But cranberry peach, white oak and vanilla, white iris and cedarwood, of course black cherry merlot, and toasted vanilla chai. It is now Friday though. Surprise! So yesterday I did take a sick day. Well, I call it a sick day. I was home. The kids actually had school called off as well. So they extended their Christmas break. We have been just in extremely cold temperatures. I think we're just a lot of the country is going under with this big snowstorm. So anyways, it wasn't the worst day to be sick because we are at home anyways, but I definitely was not in any condition to pick up the camera. I'm still a little bit congested, but feeling so much better than I did yesterday. So today we are like, I mean, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. And it's like, holy cow, we need to get things going. So I have to finish wrapping today. I also want to make toffee. And we, Macy actually was like, mom, we don't have any cookies for Santa Claus. So we'll, I'm thinking with what we have on hand. Oops, 
on my large truck by. Um, I think we might make snickerdoodles and try something. I've never made them before, but we have everything on hand to do that. So we're doing toffee and snickerdoodles and hopefully they turn out. We also got started on our Polar Express puzzle from Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, so many pieces, but we're determined to hopefully get it done. I don't think today, but you never know. Maybe in the next few days. never made snickerdoodle cookies before but they turned out really good the toffee recipe though on the other hand is a fail and I should have read I just went back and looked the recipe itself said to use a 9 by 13 pan but as you can see this is so thick and all the comments were like do not use a 9 by 13 I should have used a baking sheet or a yeah cookie sheet or a baking pan like my mother used when I was growing up. So this is just so thick. I've tried to break it down as much as I can, but I don't know. You win some and you lose some. That was definitely a loss on my part. It seems like every Christmas I'll try a new recipe and there's always at least one fail. Oh, yeah, I was looking forward to that too. So that's kind of disappointing, but oh, you can see the twins, they're elves on the fridge. They made those in school. It's their head on it's so funny. But I think that's going to be it for today's video. I am feeling so much better than I did earlier in this vlog. It is definitely helpful to take just a day off and rest and just do little things around the house so we can enjoy Christmas. So I will start up a new vlog the last 12 days of Vlogmas video tomorrow as we start celebrating Christmases. So stay tuned for that video. I also have planned here before the end of the year to share a new house update. I've been going over there and slowly recording the process. We're actually hoping to get out there tomorrow to check out what they've been up to this week. So that will be coming up as well. But I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.